thank you for tuning in to Hogwash. I'm Mr. Hogacious. Of course, everybody, you should know who I am. Uh, I'm the host of Uber Sports, and uh, which is a video stream production. But I'm um, go ahead and uh, this is my vlog about the Razorbacks. I'm gonna have a weekly episode, uh, you know, just stating you know what's going on during the college football season today. I'm just gonna talk about their upcoming schedule for the 2011 season and how good they're gonna be and. Uh, and what what uh, what you should expect from them. But I'm gonna go ahead and start off with uh, the first game. They got uh, Missouri State September. Or, I mean, uh, yeah, September third, Saturday. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be a, you know we're gonna win our first game. Obviously, to, um, it's Missouri State. Um, it's gonna we're probably gonna win 35-42 uh, to zero. Maybe they might score seven. I, I'm not sure. But uh, you know we got we, we got Tyler Wilson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Core receivers: Gray Childs, Joe Adams. Uh, you know, and uh, Kobe Hamilton. I mean, it should be a, um, not a problem beating them. It should be good. And then the next week after that, we got New Mexico State. Again, that should be a uh, um, a shutout game, uh, September 10th. Um, it, it should be no problem. We should be going uh, and, and, and beating them, and I have no problem with that. And then we got Troy. We always play Troy mostly every year. It's always, you know, they score a couple points on us. Maybe they might score 14. But again, we should be 3-0 going into the game against Alabama. That game scares me a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we haven't lost, we haven't beat Alabama in a couple of years now. Um, they, you know, they always uh, beat us by a couple of touchdowns. Last year they beat us by four. Now I think the winner of this this game is gonna, you know, win the SEC and um, go on and get to the national championship. But um, I think we could beat them this year. We have the talent to do it. Tell us with his throwing arm. We saw what he did last year in the Auburn game. Um, throwing, he threw three touchdowns. And um, so, yeah, we got pretty good. We got, we got we, we, I think we can do it this year. Then right there we got Texas A&M, which is, which is what I'm, from the sources I'm hearing, they're newly an SEC team, becoming an SEC team, close to it. Um, there, there's still conversation about it. It's not for sure yet. Um, but if we do play that game, I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to be a conference game right now or maybe next year if they do join the SEC. Um, but, I, I mean, last year they almost beat us. It was, we were close. We got them at Cowboy Stadium. So I'm watching out for them. They might be the uh, my underdog team that can come up and beat us. And then we got um, Auburn. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna have fun with this game when I watch it. Um, last year they beat us, you know, with the with the speculation, the controversy of Cam Newton getting paid off. Um, you know, that game was pretty fun. Like I said, Tyler Wilson actually played in that game. And uh, I think this year we're gonna come back with a vengeance. Beat them pretty bad, I think. I think we're gonna put a 50 burger up on them. You just show them who's boss, you know, and then show them that we're here to stay. And then we got Ole Miss. That's always fun facing our old head coach. Um, I mean, they, all, they always lead. They always lead the SEC in the last place position. We all love to see Ole Miss in the last place. Don't you love how Houston Nutt took that program around? I, lo I love it. I love it. It's great. I have no problem. Uh, we have. We should have no problem beating them. Um, I'm putting. I'm going to have to predict the score on that one. It's probably going to be like 42 to seven. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out right now. Cause last year we started out with a 21 to zero lead over them, over them, so just watch out. Um, then we got Vanderbilt. Um, you know we always we always have Vanderbilt. They're a pretty easy team. I'm not scared to play them at all. I mean, I'm not even worried about that game. Then we got uh, South Carolina. Now South Carolina, they uh, they're picked to uh, win the East. I mean they're picked last year. Obviously I'll, I'll beat them, but they have, uh, uh, their quarterback Garcia. You know, with all his troubles he's having off field and on the field, and then they have um, the running back that come back, and then the receivers. Um, they got pretty good. I mean, they can do it. I mean, I think we're gonna beat them though. Um, I'm pretty sure that we can do it. We beat them last year, so I'm not too worried about them either. Then we got uh, Tennessee. Now Tennessee last year, they did pretty good. Um, you know, they they lost their bowl game, and but but they made it to a bowl game, which is the first step in becoming a, you know, getting back to the top. Um, I think we're gonna beat them. It's in uh, ten, Tennessee. Um, last time we played them, we beat them when we had McFadden. But I ain't too worried about them, and uh, just uh, keep a watch out for them because they could be us. I'm not concerned or not. We have Mississippi State. You know, Mississippi State. We went overtime last year with them. Uh, beat them in overtime. Um, it's not too. I'm too. They're, they're okay. I mean, they're up there um, with us. I mean, they have a shot. They could. They could. We run the table. I'm not gonna. I mean, any team can run the table, but I'm not. I'm not gonna look to, for them to beat us this year. I'm looking. Uh, I'm looking as we're gonna, you know, do something pretty big in the SEC. We have LSU after that on um, on so November 25th. It's a Friday. Um, now I'm always worried about LSU. It's always either 
we all they always we always win by three or they always win by three. So over time, it's crazy and and they're pretty stacked this year. Um, so I'm gonna be worried about that. Though I'm worried about I'm worried about three teams this year we face: uh, Alabama, Texas A&M, and LSU. Um, if we even lose one of those games, possibly it could be over for Arkansas. We have to actually prove ourselves this year and, and uh, prove to everybody that we can actually stay in the conference with everybody else. But um, that's what I'm looking forward to this season. Looking forward to a uh, good football season. Even though our running back, Nal Davis, is out. Love you, Nal. You're awesome. Uh, but we got two great other ones. We got uh, Ronnie Wingo Jr. and Dennis Johnson. And then when you have a double back and double back uh, threat in the in the backfield, it's it get crazy because it, obviously Alabama proved that with uh, Trevor Sin and uh, Mark uh, Mark Ingram. So watch out for those two. Wish uh, wish Nal Davis the best in his recovery. Uh, which he uh, we're gonna he's gonna be beast next year when he's a senior. Uh, if he does decide he wants to stay for his senior year. But uh, other than that, I do this is what I look forward to the season, and uh, that's awesome. So, um, but next week I'm gonna have another show about uh, the Hogs, and also don't forget to also tune into our um, Uber Sports. That's our other channel. Um, I'm Mr. Hoggins is the host, and what we're gonna be doing is uh, we already have shows that we do about uh, sports and college football, and just get ready. We're gonna be having a college football starting. We're gonna have a some awesome shows out there for you guys so just uh, stay tuned in that you, you can get, click to the link right up here and uh we'll be good to go you have a great day Good night.